There we go, Reggie. I changed it just for you, my friend. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. How is everybody doing on this fine, glorious Sunday evening? Uh, firstly, I'd like to say a massive, massive hope you have a wonderful day. Um, for, of course, uh, 6th of July, well, 4th of July celebrations, Independence Day in America. Um, so I'm aware a lot of people probably won't be joining us this five even. But that's all right. Everything's a winner. It doesn't matter. It's one of those things, isn't it? Uh, you need some sea shanties. I do need some sea shanties. I would love some sea shanties, but unfortunately, um, I'll get copyrighted and YouTube will will demonetize me and all that crap so i'm stuck with what i can get <laughs> but hey we, we we can live with that anyway uh let me turn my camera off first uh there we go so you can see full aspect of the game that's going on so we are back tonight on fishing north atlantic hey we're going to be doing all right um now i've been playing this game a lot off stream um just to learn it and try because it's it's really really different um now um tonight we've got a special one because we are going and just holding my second long line almost out of gas oh no staff game on that isn't good mate uh hopefully you survive and you don't need a rescue hopefully that's that's kind of like a, a big hope fingers crossed for you my friend um so um tonight yes we are going to go out and we are going to go buy the ocean runner now before we go and buy the ocean runner um i oh god he's in the deep hole i don't know why he's in the deep hole there we go let's put him in the thing now for some reason my worker hasn't been working now um so tonight i hey dog me how are you my friend now i'm my worker has been all over the place and not working um he hasn't been set in my land i don't know what is going on i feel like i need to sack him and get a new one um and i'm aware that tonight is going to be a bit of a quieter stream because of course a lot of people have messaged me saying oh i'm really sorry it's the fourth of july celebration so they're not going to be here so tonight i thought we'll have a chat and basically i'm going to run through a couple of things that i have learned over the last week of playing this game off stream and stuff like that um so i thought we'll carry on firstly with this boat now this is the first boat you get and uh it's been pretty fun we have had a good run with it i've got close to a million quid at the minute and um most of that money has been coming to from tuna um but my tuna i need to i don't know where the tuna spot is now i had um a couple of things the other day that said this is a good spot for tuna um i got a tip but i've been going there and now we're not there anymore so now we are back at swordfish until we get our point thing now um so tips so this is deep lining now when it comes to deep lining what you want to do is keep an eye on your sonar on the bottom left and as you can see that i am in water that is 153 meters deep which is on the sonar bottom right hand corner of the sonar that's telling you how deep if it's less than 100 meters you're going to get ineffective use of this of the deep lines so yes that's what you want to do now uh because my worker has been busted i have to do all the deep landings business myself um i don't know why he's busted but he is he's he's totally done my nothing and he has been doing my nothing so i've ended up doing everything myself now um when you're doing this I had the same problem I found. If you save and restart, I will fix it. Oh, brilliant. That's good to know, Dogby. Thank you very much. So, what I've been doing, I've just been doing this. I've just been... Go... Oh. Ah. Oh. There we go. I have literally just been doing this and doing it all myself. Now, you when the toggle goes blue... So as you mean you can see it's like a gray that means you you're two you're not 100 meters out and the second it goes blue you can drop it so you just wait boss blue set it and then set the next line now i am going to be going to get the new boat but i wanted to do one quick run just on swordfish before we do i'd like to go in with over a million if i can go in with over a million that means that i can upgrade upgrade the boat as soon as we buy it and get all the lines and everything like that so i can have a fully 
equipped ocean runner boat which is what i want really like who am i if i buy it and then i can't do anything with it so i figured i may as well do that now i should be checking in front of me making sure there's no bloody boats but but hey ho so we're just going to set those lines out and then and then we're going to wait we're going to anchor up sleep it out and then job's a winner we'll haul them in and then we're gonna go and get our massive this new boat there we go all done so we have just gone through a swordfish area now the swordfish area is by these islands here yeah so just to give you an instance of where they are there is dennis point they are directly south of dennis point real good oh god that's going a bit too quick real good areas here for swordfish uh it's the only area that i found to be consistent um so that's where i've been going now what we're going to do we're going to spin the boat around so we're going to take a wide circle and then spin it around and job is a winner now the only thing i found about this is that i haven't found a single harpoon in area um, which really sucks like I think harpooning is probably one of my favorite things to do in this game I am absolutely really gutted uh, let's turn this off let's keep bringing it around and let it start slowing down and then we're going to turn around right there we go that'll do so I'm going to set my oh, crewmate to rest in bang and we are now gonna anchor up and now what i found is around 20 hours is a good time to be pouring in the gear okay 20 hours is the best time that i have found now people have said like ah oh, about 16 17 but me personally i have found 20 hours gives me a maximum chance of getting some fish and more than one on the line which is what i want i kind of want like if i can get two or three fish on a line i am a, a very happy man because then i can go in with a nice haul so we're just going to go through and let's go collect our fishies so this is swordfish deep lining of swordfish so we're going to head in and as you can see there look, you can see there are plenty of swordfish around and this area has been really consistent with them. Um, I haven't found any resistance with them. And there we go. We've got three. That's a great start. And of course, if you can get a perfect on them, then job's a winner. That is what you want. Like, obviously, good, okay is, like, I think it dictates the size of the fish that you catch. Oh, I missed him. And you want... Oh my god, they wobble. I missed them again. There you go, that's okay. Okay, I can live with that just because it's um but yeah, so you want to that's kind of a good point of like the 20 hours. And something I really recommend you bear in mind. Like as long as you collect them within 72 hours of um of chucking them out, your your job's a winner um the 20 hours is a good time and then blue as long as the boys are blue that's good red means that there's no fish on the line so you're gonna be really upset but uh i suppose if you win some you lose some i mean there we go we got another three on this perfect that's what we want the perfect hits if we hit those perfect hits you get the better sized fish which means obviously more money okay yeah all right pretty pants like it's worth taking the time of it that's a good uh on one long like i've got wow that is a lot of fish that is a lot of fish stuff like wow okay i'm i'm slightly jealous like, don't get me wrong. Oh, hang on. Let's just change this. Oh. Yeah. 
There we go. So, so far we have caught 1,400 kilograms of fish. Let's see how much we catch in here. All right, there's only two on this, but two is that fine. I can live with two. And we can live with two. Two is better than one. And there we go. Awesome. Two fish on that line. And this is what I mean by this area being a really good spot. Now, as you can see there, there's also some lobsters here. Which is nice to know. Like, I found them when I was, like, driving over here looking for uh, all the different types of fish. Obviously, I've been keeping my sonar open and looking. Three on this one as well. And there we go. So this kind of just emphasizes the point that having 20 hours break in between the planting and the hauling... I know it's not called planting, but for just because it's quicker for me to say planting, but or I know exactly what I'm saying. It's another okay. That's not great. Obviously, we want perfects. Perfects would be perfect. Yeah, we have now got over two and a half thousand. So we are almost half full on storage, and we have still got, and we're halfway through our line. So. That is good. It looks like we're going to get a nice haul on this shipment. On this catch. A nice catch. Yes, three, three fish again. Perfect. That's what we want. Lots of perfects. Nice. Oh my god, they... Uh, that's a good, okay, it's better than okay. Not perfect. We want perfects. Uh, I got it okay, I rushed that one. I thought I was on it, but clearly I wasn't. Okay. Wicked, that was a good haul. That was a good haul. So we have got 3,000 kilograms of fish currently in our... Uh, I guess kill the engine there. Bang. Another three fish. Oh, that is a good. Okay, I can live with that. And this is it. Like, just getting that timing right. And, like, real massive emphasis on waiting the 20 hours. Another 12. Perfect door. I have to call rescue out of fuel with the boat. Oh no. Have you got insurance? Have you got the rescue service on your boat? Because that's kind of worth having. Uh, I don't think I'm going to fill my boat up. But, like, personally, I think I've done really well on this haul. If I can keep up the two or three fish on every line, I am living the dream. Another three. Yeah, baby. Like, I've been playing this game a little bit, and it's really bad. Oh, no. Oh, that's no good. But hey, you, you've lived and you've learned. You live and you learn. That's all you got to do, my friend. And I bet you won't be doing that again anytime soon. Oh, shit. Sorry, language. Awesome, another perfect. That's what we want. And that was three fish. Awesome. And I've got 1,400 kilograms worth of weight remaining. 160 160k. Crikey. What fish did you... What were you fishing, Steph? Because like, I've, been, I've been trying to figure out what I want to go fishing with when I get the ocean runner. Like, I don't know where I want to start. Hey, Bob, how are you, my friend? Yeah, I, I don't know where to start. Like, I was thinking, do I start with long line? Do I start with nets? I, I, I really can't decide. Hey, another three. And look at that. So, every, like, 
90% of my lines there had three fish on them. Three fish on them, which is... I'm pretty impressed that, which is... Well, that was for... To really? Only 40k? That seemed like a bit of a downside. Okay, and there we go. So in total, we have got... Wow, we are just under capacity. Okay, we have got 5,000 kilograms worth of fish. Now, once you have taken your haul in, this is what you want to be doing. You want to be going over the finance and then fish prices. Okay, now, and then look at your port. Okay, so at the minute I've got blue, which is swordfish, bottom left there. And I'm getting 25, $26 a kilo, $32 a kilo, $25, $25. 28 25 so 32 which is lockport so we're going to go to lockport there because that is going to give us the biggest income dang this point i think this is no that's where we gotta go and that i think lockport so we're going to travel to lockport and we're going to sell all this once you start in you never go back when every load wow seven million a load that is insane art for and hello how are you art for all right uh yes it does the better the catch the bigger and more valuable the fish okay so we're going to sell them. and there we go we're getting 168 grand from that now that is going to tip us over the one million which is perfect so we're going to sell the fish and there we go we have got one million 131,000. I wish I had this in real life, which is awesome. Right, fish market. I want to, no, I want to go into general. No, I want to go into town. Bang. Uh, bar. We've got no tips available to us at the minute. Okay, so let's go make sure that we are filled up on fuel and change that. Awesome uh yes i want to leave because we're not going to do another fish on that and we are going to head straight over to yarmouth and we are going to go buy our boat oh i did fish for haddock redfish collet pod with a long line fishing right okay now i don't know what the what what are we going to fish for first now this is where I'm like, what What am I going to go for first? So, we're going to dock at Yarmouth. And we're going to go to the dock. And we're going to go to the fish yard. Oh, and look at that. One of them is going straight past me now, look. Bang. And where are they? Oh, I'm at the wrong one. I'm at the wrong port. Oh, no. I went to the wrong port. I went to the wrong bloody port. I thought it was Yama for sold that boat. Random. It was one of these ones anyway. I don't think it was Young Dennis Point. Was it Lockport? Oh my god, I had it written down. Ingalls Head. Is that that one over there? Yeah. Okay, we'll go to Ending Head then. Thank you very much, Artful, for that. So we're going to go in, in, Ingalls Head. And we are going to go by Shipyard Available. Oh, it's not in there. I'm sure it was there. Not Ingalls Head. I thought it was. But I honestly thought it was Yama. Let's go to Dennis Point. I swear to God, I thought it was Yama. I haven't got my phone next to me. I did have the point of where to get it. It is Lockport. Right. Right. 
Uh, dock. Shipyard. Available. Full throttle. It's the biggest harpoon boat in the fishing. Now, it would be great. It would be great if there was. It's definitely not there. Let's go a lot port then. Last one. And no, it was definitely one of those ones that I've been to because I remember before the stream I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's the one I'm going to buy. And this is where it was available. But for some reason, I've, I've messed up. Ah, yes, here it is. It's in Lockport because there's loads of them there. Okay, so we're going to go into Lockport. We're going to go into Shipyard. Available. And there it is. The Ocean Runner is in Lockwood. Sorry about that. So this boat is 695,000. Now, everywhere I have looked across, uh, just Google this. No, I don't need, no need to apologize. So this boat, I've uh, been doing a lot of research on all the different boats that are available. And this is argued to be one of the best boats, um, especially beginning game, um, because it's got the best maneuverability, the best storage, it's just the best all rounder. Because in this boat, we can be deep line, we can do netting, we can do lobsters, we can do everything in this boat, which means that this boat will go all season round. So as you can see here in the in the quotas, you can get cod, you can get haddock, you can get lobster, you can get pollock, you can get redfish, silver hag, swordfish, and tuna. Like you can pretty much get any type of fish. But of course, we can't get the crabs and stuff like that, that, which is absolutely fine. We'll get all that business later on. But this is rumored to be the best game, the best boat for to start out with. So we are going to buy the Ocean Runner. Bang. Congratulations on purse, purchasing your first long line vessel. Uh, okay, right. Mm. Do you know what? I am going to do the long line. No. Are we going to do the long line? Should we do it? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. No, we're not going to do it. Okay, right. Now, let's jump out a minute. Okay, let's go in here. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go over finances and look at... So, the best prices at the minute are COD. Okay? So, now, we're going to kit this out and go and get some COD. Now, let's check our map. Have we got any COD spots marked? Nope, that's a haddock spot. Haddock. On fish. Now, I marked a COD spot up here. Yeah, because I was driving through there. Like, I was doing this point from here to here. And that seemed like, like there was quite an abundance of cod there. You're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about naming my boat Orca, to be honest with you. Um, there was an abundance of cod up here. Like, in this deep section here. So, I'm thinking of heading up there. And setting it out for COD and giving it a try. Now. We're going to dock. Okay. So. Do, 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 do. Oh, before we do that. Uh, fishing equipment. We're going to go in the shop. No, we've already done all that. Uh, dock. There we go. Upgrades. Storage. I'm not going to upgrade the storage yet. 90 grand holy smokes radar yeah we're gonna do that bang or pilot man nah, not really bothered by that i'm not gonna do sonar yes we're going to do that A boy yes we're going to do that gutting a gutting machine yeah okay we'll get one again Searchlight, not fast by that. Thruster. Ooh, yeah, okay. We'll have side thrusters. Why not? 
Now, we've still got 356 grand. So I am going to buy the new engine. And I am going to get the storage. Boss. Okay, and we've still got 191 grand available to us. Okay. Now. Uh, fishing gear. Now, we're going to buy some long lines. We're going to buy... How many can we buy? Crikey! Alright, we'll start off with... Let's start off with 10. That's a lot of lines, isn't it? Should we buy 10? Yeah, let's, let's buy 10. Or should we buy 5? Oh, wrong way. Hang on five. I can't decide. Ah, two. Right, I'm going to buy five then. Fine. And now, we're going to bait the long lines, obviously. Now, okay. So, we're going after cod. Which is the green in there. Oh, God. That one. Shrimp. That's going to cost me six grand to bait them all. Okay. So we're going to bait them with that. And that is going to hopefully boss. Boss. Okay, let's go back to the bar. No tips available. Now, because we're going up to the cod up there, I'm going to quick travel. Ingrid head so I don't need to stress too much once we've got Ingrid head we're going to sail out and we'll get to that spot Ooh, look at my pretty boat I'm well happy with my pretty boat oh hang on let's be smart dock maintenance All right, there we go. We're filled with fuel. And we are now in the ocean runner. Now, I'm not going to name it yet, but I'm kind of feeling like Orca is a good name. And let's get out of here. Like, I really love some of these ports. Some of these ports look really, really cool. I've always said, though, it'd be really cool if we could... Um... Okay, so let's set some waypoints. So that's where we are. I want to come out of here. Bang. And we're going to drop in about there. Let's get on over there. I ain't going to mess around. Right. So like I said, this was a spot I found on my own. And as you can see, hang on. Let's go forward a bit. Let's get into the deep bit. Now, I'm hoping that all these bloody fish are still here. Because they were here, and they were looking wonderful when I came over earlier. All right, we've just gone to a depth of 200 meters. Please be here. Now, it was two days ago. So, whether they're going to be here again, I do not know. Oh, hang on, before we go, uh, let's, let's be smart. There you go. Please still be here. Yes, there we go. I know it doesn't look like an abundance, but, okay, so that's got my worker. Oh. Set my worker up. All right. Set them on. Repair gear. Those. Oh, there we go. Because we've got a new boat, he's actually preparing the gear, man. Let's zoom in a bit so we can see what he's doing. Does that mean he's ready now? Oh. 
now. We just got to wait for him to prepare. Let's go have a look around the boat while we're having a look. While we're waiting for him to do that, look at this. Oh, God, look at the mess, though. Look at that little kitchen -y sort of area. Oh, no, here's the kitchen. My little boy area. That's pretty cool. Let's go have a look outside. Oh, it's like a barbecue, didn't it? So that's where I haul my line. These are my lines. So grab it. Prepare it. There we go. Right. We're going to set it on. And let's drop it out. Now, we want to keep the boat straight while we're running this out. Now, this actually area hasn't got any better. I thought it was going to get better. But clearly, not the case. I will let the, the speed do it itself. I'm going to keep it straight. It was better here. I swear to God, I've already won the map that. I was driving along it, and I was like, Jesus Christ, look at the amount of cod here. But clearly, I was wrong. And this is actually going to be a, an entire waste. Nah, nah, not very good. I'm gutted. I'd messed up. Me thinking, hey, I got the spot ready. But clearly, it's full for me. All right, grab it in, why don't you? Oh, and there we go. All right, let's uh, jump out again. Stop driving. We're going to prep the next line, I think. Come on, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh man, this line is huge, 500 meters. And here we go, look. So I was in the wrong little spot. They moved down river a little bit, according to my thing. But hopefully we'll still get some. If we still get some, I'll be happy. There we go. Okay, we're coming up to the end of it, so let's get ready with the next line. And I'm feeling like I'm just going to plant two in a line. Grab it. Right. Right, let's go. Until we can set the next line. I'm guessing there's got to be a 100 metre gap between them. Which sucks because now I'm at a point where there we go. There we go, that's a bit better. Now we're seeing some cods. Did you upgrade your hook and knife? I did on the previous boat. Does does it carry over? Is it I'm hoping it carries over into the next boat. Because um yeah, I did upgrade it in the previous boat, but I assume they were tools for you, so So yeah, I'm kind of hoping that that's the case anyway. But I, I don't really know. Oh, I, I bet I have it now, would I? I need to do that. I'm going to have to go back and do that. Oh, my music stopped. Why is my music stopped? Uh, da, 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 da. Um, sea shanty. Let's see if we got any sea shanty. No. Hey, 
ఇల్ల కదా This seems rather dramatic for, for getting fish, doesn't it, but... It kind of reminds me of, like, Pirates of the Caribbean, actually. I don't know why. Does that even remind anyone else of Pirates of the Caribbean? Nah, I think I'm gonna put three lines there. But I know that my third line is probably... I'm gonna have... not. Not enough storage space, but the main thing is, is that I want to fill the boat up. And once we're closely, mostly get on oh, 20k on one line. Holy smokes! That'd be nice. I'd be quite happy with that. But like, so while we're waiting, guys, I'm going to say that I am thoroughly enjoying this game. I don't know what i'm enjoying so much about this game but it's amazing like i've obviously i've got to prepare for like the whole um that's better for fish uh start placing fish bang much better there we go look at all those fish there now all right let's get some distance i'm gonna set three in a line and then we're going to sleep. We'll sleep in for the 20 hours. I, I don't know how long I need to sleep actually with this. Because of course this is my first time long lining. Um, I'm not entirely sure how long I need to wait. Until I should be collecting the lines. Look at all those cards. Holy smokes. This is a lot of cards. That is a lot of cod. A lot, a lot of cod. I am very happy with that haul. Much better. See, I knew I was in the general area where there was a lot of cod. So maybe it kind of like, if you're saying that you get the same that you're here as well, um, stack, then... Ooh. Look at the finance screen. Free cash and you won't make any mistakes. Ah, whoops, sorry. Sorry, Arthur, I missed that one. I apologize, mate. But hey, it's... Uh, I do enjoy it too. Mostly I do one day. Okay. So wait 24 hours. I suppose that maximizes the intake. Chances of things getting on the hook. And like I said to you before, it's like 72 hours, isn't it? You just got to make sure you get the fish within 72 hours otherwise your line start breaking so we're going to do this line and then we'll have three lines up let's have a quick look look at that <laughs> i just hope that no one wants to travel up and down this thing otherwise they're going to ruin my nuts now that'd be pretty cool if that was the case and that did happen because then i would really piss a lot of people off wow look at all those cod uh, start placing fish, cod, yeah. Actually, I'm going to uh, delete fish. I'm going to delete that first one because that wasn't that good. But actually, all the cod are here. A good number of cod. All right, there we go. Almost done. We're only going to set three lines. I'm going to see how much I get from three lines. I could set five lines, but, but there we go. Okay, so, right, let's set my worker to rest. And then we're going to go, we're going to spin our boat around. And then we're going to sleep. So my whole line is on the left side. Let's go. Get around your beauty. I like this boat. This is a pretty boat. And it seems to like move a lot nicer. Mm. 
We go, keep spinning out, that's the beginning of the lines there. Um, kill the engine. Back in here, where's my clock in this boat? Oh, I need to stop driving to get to the thing. Right, anchor. Right, so we're going to skip 24 hours. Right, and there's my line. So let's get my worker back out. Bang. All long line. Close. And let's go. So we waited 24 hours. A full day. And let's see. We've got blue, so we've got some bites. And let's see how well we do on the 24 hour wait. And now we're going to cut engines there. Ah. Okay. Right, the problem is, is I need to be lined up. Okay, I need to be... Hang on, let's go backwards and spin it that way. I need to be coming in from a bit more round. I need to be coming in sort of this angle. Double check, yeah. That angle, go, 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 let's try again. Let's spin it, and let's do the side thrusters to start pushing me over. You're going to push me in, or? God, it really doesn't want to push me in, does it? Come on. Oh, that's rubbish, I'm not going to lie. Go on, spin! Turn, 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 turn. Oh! Let's go have a look. Go on, mate. Oh, we got some redfish in there, too. That is cool. Now I feel like I should be doing something here. Oh. <laughs> They've like instantly frozen up. Alright, let's <laughs> Wow. Keep going. Now I guess I gotta wait. I'm guessing I can't move until he's holding the entire line. Oh, hang on, let's uh, go in this. Let's go in there. Go. Oh. Bang. I want to know how you... Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay, so he does all that. Which means that he's getting all the things. Obviously, I'm getting the stats, so he's getting okay. Good. Now, he was a pretty expensive and decent worker. So, I'm hoping he actually got some good. And there's another good, and that's good.
throwers that in catch and there we go so that's what we've got so far wow we've got 100 kilograms of, of hake already and a thousand kilograms of hake 100 kilograms of pollock thousand kilograms of pollock wow that's a lot of fish There we go. So we got 16,000 kilograms off that one line. Now the next line is dead ahead. 1,000 kilograms of redfish. We didn't get any cod though. Maybe I was on the wrong fish. Hmm. So not great. 16,000 kilograms isn't bad, I'm not going to lie. That's not too shabby. But obviously it's not perfect. And there's no cod in that. Which sucks. Because that was definitely cod on the thing, and I baited up for cod. So why am I not at why have I got everything but cod? Hmm. Huh. Random. Random. But hey, for my first go, I'm quite happy. We're having 16,000 kilograms. Maybe all three lines might be needed. And there's my next line just come into the distance there. Right, let's see if we get better on this one. But I can't believe I didn't get any cod. I definitely baited for cod. I'm going to go in on a slight angle this way. How'd you got the fish? I will show you in a minute, Martin, okay? You give me a second, we'll have a look and we'll work it out together. Okay, so, to gut the fish. I'm guessing I was getting in a lot of red fish. I don't think I'm gonna get any cod again. So what I'm assuming you do is you go in worker. And then I set my worker over to gut fish. Now if you've got the machine, you do it all with the machine. But of course, if you haven't got the machine, you've got the table. I'm guessing you go up to the table. But here's my gutting machine. So I assumed that I could gut via that, but... But clearly not the case. What we'll do, we'll get all the holes in and we'll have a look. We'll have a look, Martin. Let's figure it out. There we go. Interesting one, actually. Oh, they're green. Oh, no. I've left them too long, I think. I didn't do very good on that, did I? Hmm. 
No, I didn't do very good in that one. And this one's going to be shocking as well. Now, I haven't gutted any fish yet, Martin. I'm not going to lie. So we'll work that out, though. We will get that. I'll help you with that. We'll get it together. Right. I'm going to have to collect it on green. Maybe I should have done the tutorial. <laughs> uh, can I see my boy yet? Should be coming up dead ahead. No side of the boy yet. I could get my binox out, but I'm not going to do that. So I've definitely done something wrong. I don't know what I've done wrong, but I have most certainly done something wrong because my hall is, there's the line, just coming into view there. Um, I've definitely done something wrong. Now, please don't get me. I'm no expert at this. I'm sure you'll find other people that are absolutely amazing. For me, this is my first time doing long lining, so you've got to give me a bit of time to figure it out, and I need to make sure I come in at that angle. Now, I thought this boat would be quicker. What are we doing? 7-3. I just lost. The storage is full. Oh, no! Alright, let's get this last line in then. Go on. You gotta make sure you come in the line the right way. It needs to be off in that angle. You can see the line there going across to the right of the screen. So you need to come in at this angle. Okay. Which fish are you gonna bring me this time? Like I don't get it, because if you look at the sonar, it's saying there are a lot of cod here. Why have I not caught cod? A lot of silver hake again. Is that the line? Done. What a pants run. Maybe it's not cod season? It should be. Uh, cod. Du -du 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 -du. Season. December to March. No, it's not cod season. Ah. I fucked up there, didn't I? Okay. Right. Now, I'm going to set him over to... Gut machine. Gutting, has he got that as a thing? And gutting, yeah, he's pretty good. He's really good at machine gutting. 
Okay. Goes. And there we go. So he is now gutting them for me. So basically what you need to do is just... If you've got a worker, move a worker over from hall to hall to gutting. If you don't have that. Now, if I click get out. I can see how he's gutting. Oh, and there we go. I can't gut with him for some reason. Ah. Why can't I gut machine? How'd you got? I messed up on the seasons, didn't I? Because I got the wrong bait. That's why I haven't done very good. Right, let's go in the wiki again. Uh, fish tie. Oh, no. Finances. Fish prices. What's second? Uh, Paul Luck is going. Is all right. Uh, da, da, da. What's that light green? Mackerel, is it? No, that down there. Body's obviously not in season. The next thing in season is tuna. We're not doing tuna. Pollock. So we're going to have to kit up for Pollock. Yeah, my, he's doing really well with the gutting, isn't he? Right, okay. So let's go fish prices. Hang on, what's our main fish? Our main fish is Pollock, which is good. So let's go back in there. Finances, fish prices. Uh, Pollock is 486 a kilogram there. 47, 436, 493. 493. So we are going to Digby. Which is over there. Okay, so. Let's hang on. Let's go see what that is. <laughs> Um, let's see what that is on the way. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Taking a while to load though. Uh oh. Let's go see oh, what There's some fish here. So that's definitely cod there. Yeah, I'm basically everything has been done automatic. You can see my mate there, hard at work. Gutting all the fish for me. Now manually, I'm not entirely sure how it works. Um but yeah, everything has been done by machine and by my worker. Now I can get a second worker, so I probably when I get the port, I'll probably hire someone else that's really good at machine gutting. And then that can be their main jobs. And then I've got two people doing machine gutting. And yeah, that's that's going to be my plan, I think. Right, I'm just going to let my boat travel down to this boy. I want to see what this marker is. And then we're going to head over to England. And we've got mainly Pollock. 11,000 kilograms worth of Pollock. There we go. Bay of Fundy. Alright, there we go. Oh, God. Right, let's get up there. Bam. Oh, what am I doing? Alright, let's go to Digby. We're going to go Digby, and this time we're going to get up properly. I'm going to buy another gutter. Graham is too tired to work. 
Yes. Oh, he didn't get all the gutting done. Back. Back. Right. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Stop driving. Right, let's see if I can figure out how to do the gutter myself. Right, I'm gonna know how I do the gutting. Is that how do I use the gutter myself then? Do I have to grab my knife? Right, I need some advice here, guys. How do you? Right. Okay. No, we're not going to sell. Uh, maintenance. Maintenance upgrades. That in. We're going to install the gutting table. Check out. Bang. 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 Now I'm going to stop driving. Gutfish. There we go. Start. Oh my god. Okay, that one does it. Not bad. Eh, not bad. Okay, I'm not exactly an expert at this. This is fun. Ooh, that was a good one. Ah! Ah, whoops. Maybe I won't rush it. I was hoping I could do it with like... Ooh, five star, baby! So, in order to gut yourself, you have to have the table. You can't use the machine. Then say I'm going to have to sit here and do all like thousands of fish. It's a lot harder than what it was in Baron C. Baron C wasn't too shabby. Alright, sorry if I'm not chatting to you at the minute. I think you should have a better knife. Yeah, I should really, shouldn't I? I'm going to finish these lot off on this knife for now, though. Nah, I'm going to be here all day cutting these fish up. Ah, 
I don't know why we can't use the gutter machine. Uh, we're looking all right. We 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 haven't done too shabby. I had one like really bad, but the rest of them. I'm getting at least four stars, so if I can just, I'd be quite happy with at least hitting four stars with every single hit. Now you're all probably looking at me and thinking, oh my god, this guy is an absolute tool. But I'm trying my best. It's actually a lot harder than it probably looks. I'm going to be here a while now, ain't I? But I do love this. This is fun. It's... Oh, new fish. Yeah, baby. Try it when you're on sea. Oh, I can imagine. Like, I think... I, like, I, I struggle enough to get my line out when I'm at sea, let alone bloody gutting. Like, I think what I've learned here is I need a second worker. Or maybe two more workers. Like, two workers to work the gutter. And one worker to work the hauler. I think once we have done all these, hopefully it will get us a bit of money so we can actually... Ah, right, come on out. Oh, new fish, red fish. Yeah, I think I need to buy a better knife. And I also need to buy some new star. I'm assuming that means I also need to rebuy all my hooks. Because I, I remember buying a knife on the last boat. But obviously it stays with the boat. It's like, well, this is my knife. There are many others like it, but this one is mine. Actually, I can imagine a fish, that being like a fisherman's motto. Right, okay, let's, let's just concentrate for a minute, sheep. Let's get all these fish cutted. Gutted. Ooh, we got five stars for that one. Clearly, I'm better at the redfish of gutting than anything else. God, I'm going to be here all day doing this. Jesus, give me a break, mate. Here I am, cutting fish. 40k fish I got. Wow, nice. Did you got them out of sea, though? Alright, let's get these bad boys up. I wonder if I can stab myself in the hand. Nope, you can't stab yourself in the hand.
Hey, and there we go. All the fish have gutted. Right, now we can dock. Yes. 168. I'm sure it was like a hundred and... Nah, it might have been about the same. Okay. Okay, right. We got 84 grand for the Pollock. Sell the fish. Awesome, we've now got things. So let's go into general. No. Dock. Maintenance. Let's fill up with fuel. Oh no, don't do this to me again. Hang on, hang on, save career. Dock, maintenance, bang, yes, there we go, bang. Okay, so, time, bar, no tips, through, a higher. Right, let's see if we can find someone, what we want, we want, I'm a good machine gutter. Oh, wow, you're good. You're pretty good, and you got a 2.2% rate. Okay, Isaac, you can come on as my machine gutter. Oh, wow. You're bad at that. You're good at hand cutting. Uh, well, long line. You're not too shabby on the long line. You know what? I've got two solid workers. I'm going to leave it at two for now. Right. General, no. Fish market. Shot. Hook. Bang. Check out. I'm going to get that. Knife. Bang. Check out. Awesome. Military grade? Yeah, we're going to buy that one. Check out. Awesome. Now, we need fishing gear. Bait long lines. Now, we want to get Pollock. Now, the Pollock is the orange. Which is crab. Okay, so. We're going to bait all my lines up with that. Remove shrimp. Yeah. Remove shrimp. All the rest are unbaited. Oh, good thing I saved. I just crashed. Yeah, game is just frozen. Gotta relaunch it. Sorry, guys. Now, this is a problem with, like, the game. Like, save when you go into port. If you don't save when you go into port, any accidents like that, and that's it, you lose a lot. Okay, so make sure you save. Now, luckily, I saved at the point where I had just sold all my fish and stuff like that. So that is all good. Happened to me three times today. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things, mate. Just got to save when you get the port. So we're going after Pollock. That is where we're going this time. We've got two workers. I check my workers, make sure I got two workers. And I think I... I think I... Saved before I got the workers. I don't remember. I'll double check. I might have got the worker. Might have got the worker before I done it. Buy workers and upgrade again. Right. Thank you, Martin. So we're going to buy a worker again. And we're going to upgrade again. Oh, God. All right. Dock. Uh, fish market. Shop. Hook. 
Bang, bang. Knife. Bang, bang. The Nox. Bang, bang. Okay. Fishing gear. Bait long lines. Uh, remove shrimp. Remove. And now we're unbaited. Now we want them baited on Pollock. Which I think is the orange one. Is Pollock orange? Yes, it is. It is orange. Bait long line with crab. Did you rest your worker? My, my worker got tired and went to bed, so he's resting now. So we're going to bait all five lines with crab. Bang. Now we're going to go back into town and we're going to go crew on board. Yeah, we've only got one worker, so we need one more worker. And we wanted someone that was good for. That's who we got. Bang. Dark. Maintenance. Undamaged and fill. Right, now. Yeah, it was Pollock. What? I think I got a Pollock thing over here. Haddock. Haddock. I haven't got any Pollock markers. But where I was is pretty good for Pollock. So, I think we're going to go to that same spot. Right, let's get over there again. Uh, oh, I'm still in the thing, aren't I? I need to get out of there. Okay, you better save again. Thank you. And once you're out, there we go. We're out. Uh, now we can start a fast travel. Oh, what? A boat. A little tiny boat. Hi, Jeremy. How are you, my friend? Okay, let's, let's dodge this boat. Bang, and let's start again. Let's see what that is. Derby Lighthouse, so it goes. No. There we go. And get into the deep water and maybe. There we go, we're back in the zone. What the hell is that then? It's trying to meet those fish, but clearly not. Okay, worker. Do you know what? Uh, what are we looking like there? Bingo. Stop driving. Open the door. I'm going to set the lines myself. Oh, I wish you could just press it instead of thing or not. The power up. Sat line. Oh, I can't do that. Want to keep going? There we go. Right, I'm just going to let that run through. Hey, Jeremy. How are you, mate? You all right? Right, so those of you that have just joined for me, we are currently setting out some long lines ready for some Pollock. We're on a Pollock hunt tonight. Because I messed up and I'm not in COD season. But we're going to get some Pollock. They were the next ones, the next highest earners. If I go in here, first prices. So Pollock is in like an orange. 
So at the top there, you've got Cod. The one below it there, you've got Tuna. And then you've got Pollock. So that's what we're going to go for. We're going for Pollock. As you can see, our Pollock's looking quite good in there. Not too shabby. There's a few Tuna here and there. Got a bit of mackerel and a bit of redfish. But there's mainly pollock in here. There's a couple of cod down there at the bottom of the sonar. I'm looking at. I'm looking at the sonar. Oh no, I didn't set the gun machine. Martin, you're a lad. Thank you for pointing that out. What I'll do is I'll set my lines and then I'll go to port, put the gutter machine out. And then Oh no, the fish die out there. Eh? And then we'll come back. That's fine. But thank you for reminding me, Ma, and you're a gentleman. I don't know why we're done without that no, that info. Yeah, the quantities have died down a bit there. That sucks. But hey ho, that's can't win them all. When you wait for the fish to bed, you should change it in the pool. That's what I'm thinking, Martin. Thank you. I think that's probably going to be the best thing to do, isn't it? It's going to be the easiest thing to do anyway. I got some more pollock coming in now, which is good. Not very many. Maybe this isn't a very great area to be fishing. Not very many pollock. Not very many fish in total. You've only got 80 meters line left to get out. Doing my best, you're welcome. Oh, mate, you're a legend. Thank you. You're definitely saving my guns, mate. No, we're not in a bad pollock area. I know that set the 500 meters. Like, a thousand meters. Oh! Fucking hell, that scared the crap out of me, man. Wow, we're coming into a nice range. And... Right, I'm going to set the next line up. Come on, mate. I'm holding down, like, R, R2 in the hope that it runs, but... That's not too shabby. Over the next 500 meters... Oh, I'm not moving forward. Over the next 500 meters, that isn't too bad, so I'm, I'm going I'm to go for it. We're going to set two lines again. There's some pollock in there. Red fish, we've got some cod in there, but we won't catch the cod. We're not on cod season, so we can't catch any. But hey ho. Because we hit red last time, I'm not going to keep the lines in for as long. Probably going to keep the lines in for about 18 hours instead of 24. And hopefully, it will improve. Oh yeah, we should cut all those fish up. That's nice. That isn't too shabby. Not amazing, but... You can set three or four lines. Well, I've got like, I can get, I could get up to like 15 lines in my boat, but I only went for five, so I could set up to five lines. I set two. I might set three. And then we'll be all right, right? I think. I think that would be plenty. I'm going to go for a bit of country music, I think. Just 
just kind of like, let's go through, keep pulling through. 300 meters down, 200 meters left. So let's see what we got. Okay, not a massive amount. But now if I go to a five, look at all them. So we're coming up to a shallow point of water in a minute. Doesn't show up on my size of meter radar. So I might be alright. Oh no, it's coming up a bit now. Uh, should I set a third line just to be safe? Hey, you're crossing my lines, but what are you doing? That is cool. Oh, wow. Can you see? Huh, that is awesome. We're going to set three lines. Let's have a look. That isn't too shabby. I think it's kind of worth it. Uh, let's go back to 500. Uh, it's not too shabby. Let's do that. Right, last line. I think if you set five, you'll run out of storage space. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'll go for three. I leave it at three. Three is a good number. Three is the magic number. We we'll set it at three. And then we can give or take, can't we? We can go with it. And um, it's the music too loud. And hopefully we can survive. So now we've just got to wait. So just while we're waiting, folks, please don't forget if you are enjoying yourself and you're enjoying the stream, even if you're lurking, please don't forget to hit that like button for me. I got like button is a That like button is a massive help for me. It helps me know that people are enjoying my content. And it helps bring new people to the channel and more people to the channel because it's nice seeing loads of new people here tonight. Like Steph Gaming, Martin, like and every, all the other lurkers that are just sitting in the background. You're, you're all absolutely great. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here doing this. So I really appreciate you all coming out and spending some time with me and chatting. Of course, I love people that are coming and chat. Because it really helps the stream and just keeps me in the flow. Keeps me in the flow of things. So, uh, just while we're waiting, I'm going to fill up my vape. And I can't drive, so i got another 300 odd meters yet. So, fill up my vape. And I'm going to sit here and vape and chill and listen to a bit of music. Oh, but yeah, so I... Like, so those of you that have played this and the balance scene, have, have you got a preference of which one you prefer? Like I'm intrigued at what people will prefer. Do you prefer to have, do you prefer North Atlantic or do you prefer balance sea? It's kind of like a good comparison because they're both they the same company, aren't they? Of course, balance sea was the first game that Miss Games released uh, and this being the second. So yeah, let me know which games you prefer. Because, like, me personally, I don't know, I kind of like a bit of both. Like, Balance Sea, I liked the whole, the map. In a sense, it, it was a lot easier to find locations. And 40 deep lines, wow. We could do that as well, see? I could set up the deep lines and go and get... And go and get some more, uh, swordfish. I think we'll do this one more deep line, and then we should have never played baron wow so you're really new to the game man fair play like baron c i really enjoyed baron c i liked it like we done a whole series on baron c as well and um it was a lot easier like your map showed you exactly the locations of the fish so you just go to the red zones uh, you didn't have the whole tips thing or 
or anything like that so it was a bit easier uh, I like this one a bit more but I wish there was a combination of both that's it isn't it they both got pros and cons right three lines set I'm gonna go to Ingrid head before we do that let's save And now I guess dock, uh, fish market, shop, oh no, fishing gear, no, oh dock, that's what I'm doing, uh, upgrades, got in, bang, is it? Hopefully that's me. Yeah, my gutter machine is on there. Awesome. Uh, dark. Let's fill up with fuel while we're here. And that's it. Yeah, we're going to jump to there. I like this because it's more simulated. Yeah, it's a lot more realistic this time around, which is nice. I guess nice. Uh, I think I subscribe when you play Baron C. Oh, thank you, Martin. Right, we're up there. So now we can. I'm going to drop down here. I'm going to try and be smart. Actually, I'm going to drop straight down. And I want to come in about there. There we go. And this should be a good place to kit for the night. Yep, there's my line. There the head there, look. So, I can now stop the driving. Anchor. And we're going to go for... Given the time it's taken me... Yeah, I think that's about right. That should take me to about 18 hours. And now, if I go on crew, who's the best hauler? Uh, long line hauling. Okay, you're not too shabby. I think you're better. 136. So you, my friend, can go in for the long line haul. And let's go. I did see it. Oh, I got it. It's the other head. Oh, wow. Okay. So, like, I don't know. I, Martin, I do apologize. It's been a long time since I played Baron C. Um, now, did you, did you, I'm guessing you came to some of my live streams on that as well, didn't you? Well, I do apologise. It's been a very long time. God, I can't remember where I asked someone to play Balancy. Right, just shut my engine down. I let myself roll in it. Ah, oh, thank you for subscribing, Steph. I really appreciate it, mate. Always appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. It's a massive help to me, my friend. And it's always nice to get some new people. Don't forget, you can join my Discord as well. Um, if you so wish, which is on my main... On the banner of my main page. We've got a Discord in there where we got loads of different chats in there. Come on in. What? You were well in the area. There we go. He's hauling in. Let's have a look. Uh, I guess stop hauling. Let's go see what he's doing and what he was looking like. Uh, okay, wicked. So, if I go in there again, I put this guy on the gutter machine. Now, it doesn't look like he's going to do any gutting yet. So, I'm going to rest him for a little while. It looks like we're bringing in a lot of pollock, right? My fish should disappear, man. Why are you not pulling them in, mate? 
Good, that's all we want. Lots of good, mate. Give me some perfects as well. All right, let's set up on oh, boat storage. Let's have a look. And let's see what we're hauling up. I think it was a long time ago indeed. Yes, I changed my account name when I saw you. Right, okay. Right, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'll let him haul in this first line first and then I'll set the other worker out. He's got to wait. There you go. You got 10,000 on that. That's not great. Right, let's go back into my workers now again. And you, my friend, can start at them. Right then, where's my next line? My next line is over that way. Wicked, we're working together. Is that bang on? Hang on, what I might do is... Bang. Bang. I need to go more left. There it is. I can just see the boy now. Awesome. Alright, let's go and get... Come on, get up there. Let's get some speed going. It's on blue, which is good. Red is bad. That means we caught something. We didn't do very well, though. We only got like eight, five, ten thousand fish. Kilograms of fish. Let's open. There you go. Alright, uh, looks like we've got some pollock. We've got some red fish up there in the distance. Nice. Let's see how many fish, how much fish we get this time. Fingers crossed. Come on. Give me lots and lots of big fish. I want to fill my boat. I'd love to fill my boat. Let's check my workers. Okay, they're doing all right there. Awesome. Okay. We're looking good. We have got two workers, one busy gutting on the machine and one hauling in for me. We'll just let this line come in and then we'll progress on to the next one. So, we're going to go over to there, and then we're going to drop in. Let's close. Yeah. We'll let that go. And then that is going to line us up ready for the third line. But I need to find a better spot. I might change over to long long lining and go back for the swordfish. I think that'll be pretty fun actually to try it out. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish these lines off, sell these fish, and then we're gonna go down south again. And we're gonna go and hit the swordfish on the long lines. Get as many long lines as we physically can and just go swordfish crazy. That's probably going to be the best bet. Ooh, we got a perfect. Good lad.
Can I bring that last fish in? Ah, yes, mate. Okay, right. What I'm going to do... I'm going to rest you for a bit. I'll close it. And then we're going to start the fast travel. Awesome. Now, where's that line? Dead ahead there. So now, go back in there. Now, bring him back out. Close. And let's get this last line in. The seas are getting a bit choppy. How much have we got? Oh, we've only got 3,000 kilograms of space left. We're probably going to lose a lot of fish. But we'll have a full run. I can live with that. Like, I could go... Oh, shit, the tide's pushing me. Ah, there we go, that's fine. Pooh. Oh, that was lucky. Stop driving. What I want to have a go at this. I can't take them off it. I want to have a go at catching some fish. I'm going to see if I can get them. But I can't. I'll do it next time. I don't know if we're going to have enough thing. <laughs> Whoops. Three lines. Too many. It's better than last time. Last time we didn't get anywhere near... Anywhere near enough space for the fish. Like, I had too much space. If, yeah, too much space last time. So it's nice that we're actually going to lose some fish instead of... What have we got? A lot of Pollock. Awesome. That is what we want. Lots and lots of Pollock. We've got 23 kilograms. Well, nearly 24 kilograms of Pollock. What I do then, I'll set them both on... The machine and we'll head back find out where it's selling the biggest pollock and then jobs are winner we got eight thousand kilograms of haddock that's not too bad two more got more red fish and that's the last pollock but it looks oh There we go. 20 kilograms of fish was lost. Wow! That sucks. Ouch. Thank you. Right, now, let's see if I can move that worker now. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so, what's our thing? Uh, all storage. I think we have mainly Pollock, didn't we? So let's go over to finances, fish prices. Pollock, 485, 4, 4.91 there. A Digby. We're going to Digby. Which is this one here, isn't it? There we go. 72 hours. That's when you'll lose your lines. Okay, we're, we're going to Digby. That is obviously where... 
One is two up thing. Okay. How do I check? Okay. I'm going to dock a Digby. Uh, yes. Ah, two hundred and twenty nine thousand pounds. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna not sell them yet. What I do is no, we're gonna go to fish market, fishing gear, buy long lines. We're going to buy as many as we can. We can have... Okay, we can have 35 of them. Ooh. Yeah, long lines. That's what we want. 35 long lines. No, gutting isn't finished. That's why I haven't sold them yet. So I'm going to buy them. Oh, hang on. I didn't want... I want deep lines. Why can't I buy deep lines? Oh god, what am I doing? Fishing gear. Sell long lines. Sell. Sell. I got 45 of them. I don't need 45 of them. 30. I only want 5 of them. So. 1. One got four now, right? Buy long lines. Actually, hang on, hang on. Sell long lines. Sell. Buy long lines. 5,000 hooks. Five of them. Awesome. Buy. Okay. How do, why am I not be able to buy deep lines? I thought you could get deep lining on this bit. Fishing gear. Is it because I've still got the gutting table up? Uh, let's see if that stuff. Yes, he's famed. He's rested. Get in there and get on that, mate. Huh. Almost done them all. I let them just finish off them all now. It won't take them long. I still got one point one thousand two hundred kilograms worth of fish to gut. How do I get deep lines on this boat now then? That is what I want. Yes, you can go to the bottom option and change your gear. Right, okay. So we're going to change the deep lines and we're going to go sword fishing, I think. Because I know where the sword fish are, which is good. So I may as well make the most out of being at sword fish in tuna season and go get some. Now, my tuna is not... I've got a tuna location, but there's actually not many tuna in there. So, tuna would be ideal, because I'll make boss money on tuna. Tuna would make you so much money, it's ridiculous.
That's it, guys. Come on, keep rowing. Almost there. 93 kilograms there. Just rest them. Bang. Okay, docker degree. Yes. There we go. 226,000. Which isn't that great, to be honest with you. Selfish fish market. Rigging. Okay. Deep line fishing. Bang. Back. And now we're going to go to the fish market, fishing gear, buy deep lines. How many can we buy? Wow. 40 deep lines. Let's buy it. Why not? And we're going to bait the deep lines. Let's check our map a minute. Uh, yes, so we have got a tuna location. Now there's a boat there, which suggests to me that there are actually some deep tuna there. So I think we're going to do it. Bait, bait deep lines. And we're going to bait them for tuna. And we're going to bait them all. Go, 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 Let's see if we can fill up on tuna. There we go. 40 lines. It's going to cost me 16 grand. Bait. Bing. Awesome. Okay. Now then. What I'm going to do is check the time, see if we've got any new tips. Yes, we do. We got a pollock location a week ago. Okay, I'll have that. And now we're going to go into maintenance. Make sure we're filled with fuel. Repair everything. Awesome. And we're ready to go. Now, we are going to go all the way down here. Ten hours down to there. Yeah, there was only pollock there, which is great, which is fine. But we're after the tuna, so I'm gonna go down south again. There's the tuna, and I'm going to set a waypoint to come in. Bang! Uh, set waypoint. I want to come in from this angle. I'm going to go there. I have this gap there. Hopefully I don't run out of fuel. Fingers crossed. If I run out of fuel, I'm stuffed. Because that was a big journey. Maybe I should have went to the port before I went to the tuna. But... But hey ho, hey, what can we do about it, eh? Um, bang, we're at the tuna site. There we go. Now, if I go on to sonar, there we go. But 1.3 nautical miles deep. meters there we go so we've got thing so now let's go into my workers bang uh preparing gear let him get that sorted uh, do you have it no i haven't actually <laughs> ready and set deep line and let's go
We're going to set all three deep lines. There's no bloody... There's no tuna showing up. Okay, I'm just going to keep running through until I hit the tuna spot, I think. Ah, oh, God's sake. I wish they would just bloody keep... Doesn't look like I'm seeing any tuna. Come on. No tuna, no tuna. No tuna. I'm coming up to the exact spot that was marked. This isn't good. I don't think we're going to do very good. We are now over the tuna spot. And I'll pop one down just for the sake of popping it down. I don't think we're actually going to get anything on this one. This is really depressing. There's some tuna in there, so I'm going to pop them down. There is some tuna in there. We'll see how we go on. Do we have to gut swordfish as well? No, you don't gut the swordfish. You don't gut on a deep line. You only gut on a long line. Or netting, I think, as well. But no, on a deep line, swordfish and tuna, you do not gut. And the tuna I bring you the dollar. Dollar are awesome for the tuna. Tuna are probably the highest. Oh, fuck's sake, I didn't. Yeah, I wish you could set him to be constantly. Oh, there we go. Like, we're coming into tuna now, look. There's loads of tuna. There are some tunas about. So we might get lucky. Let's see how we get on. We'll try that. We'll set them all out. And maybe I'll, I'll fill up my boat. If I fill up my boat on all of them, that'll be awesome. But I doubt it. <laughs> There are some tuna there. You can see the tuna there with the yellow like fins on them. They are the bad boys. Now I'm out of music. Uh, hang on. I'm gonna set this line and then there we go. Uh, I'm kind of feeling the country. Let's sing happy. Let's listen to some happy country. Like, oh, no, that's, there is some tuna in there. We might get lucky. This is going to be a lot of lines. This is going to take me a while. Hmm. 
Jesus. I'd be lucky if I fill my boat, but I'd quite like to fill my boat. That'd be awesome. Because then we're talking a lot of money. We're talking somewhere in the millions. There's still tuna showing up on the map, so I'm going to keep planting. If all of a sudden they stop, that's when I'm going to stop. I just want to look at this map. I don't think I'm seeing any more tuna. I'm going to make it a square 20, though, I think. We'll put out 20. We probably won't catch anything now. 18. Nah, we're out of tuna range now. One more. Oh, there's another tuna popping up on the screen, so... There you go. Is that going to take? I think I'll sleep for six, 18 hours, 16 hours maybe. And that. Ah, uh, bang. Stop driving. Anchor. 16 hours, I said, didn't I? Oh, wow. All reds. I think I slept for too long. Not good. My fuel's fine. I've got about half a tank. There's my first line. I think I slept for too long. I should have slept for 10 hours. Uh, I guess get my work ready. Uh, deep line hole. Deep line hole. Uh, storage. Let's see if we actually get anything. I don't think we're going to get anything. We're in red. They're not blue. So I think I went too long. But let's find out. No fish. Low population. Yeah. Such a waste. I'm going to have this all the way. All 20 lines. Bollocks. Not good. Sorry, guys. And this is kind of like the game, isn't it? Oh, they're pulling it in. That's fine. So I can just drive that out. And they can get them. And, and fucked. 
God damn it. And this is the game, guys. It's one of those things. You win some, you lose some. Like, my sonar is not showing many, so... I'm not surprised I didn't really get anything. I'm gutted, obviously, getting a nice full of tuna would have been beautiful. And I would have been a multi-millionaire, but... Like, I tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to load the game and go back because I know I'm... Oh, no! I thought I saved it before. Bollocks. I thought I saved it before I planted them. And I was like, yes, there we go. That saved me. <laughs> Save a massive mistake, but clearly not. I need to start using multiple saves. One save before the haul. One save after. Just to start being a bit smart. I'm surprised we haven't got a single bite. I mean, let's double check. No, not a single bite. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Oh, well. Like you said, we learn from our mistakes. Massive mistakes. Big mistakes have been made there. Uh, you load a quick save, I think. No, I am. Um, I don't have quick save. It's all manual saves. I've only got one uh, manual save. Why are you stopping? Oh, no, I didn't load a quick save. Or a save. No, I, I loaded my only save, mate. I've only got one save in the game. So we're going to have to pick all these up. Oh, well, we got some nice speed. It shouldn't take us too long. There we go. Don't do what I do. <laughs> but I make lots and lots of mistakes. But hey, if I now I've made this mistake, you guys know, don't do what I've done. <laughs> that was me hoping that I would have landed my killer haul, enough to buy a new boat instantly, but clearly not. We are still in tuna season, aren't we? Like, uh, uh, what, what month are we on? We're still in August, so... And as far as I know... Why oh, there we go. Atlantic. June to October, yeah. So there must be a tuna spot on the site somewhere. But clearly they don't want me to know that. But I know you ain't having a tuna spot. Because you'll be a millionaire already and you would have completed the game. So they're like, nope. Okay. Oh, this is going to take a bit of a while. These first six, five were pretty spread out, I think. Uh, and everyone that's just joined me, I truly apologize. I had just messed up 20 lines. 
So I am now trying to correct my mistake. And I've got to collect all these lines again. Because there's no tuna here. There are tuna, just not many of them. Uh, mistakes make simulation games more fun. Well, until you've got to correct your mistake and you've got to do things like this, where you've got to pick up 20 lines, wasted lines. And I have now got to pick up 20 mistakes. Ah, this is going to be a while. I'm truly, truly sorry. Uh, what are you having trouble with? Tuna. Hey, Dave. How you doing, mate? I'm having trouble with tuna. Um, I went out to the spot where the, they recommended me to uh, a tuna location. I popped down 20 lines, and all of them are empty. Every single one of them. So now I've got a run up. I've got to collect all 20 lines. I'm at line number 9 out of 20. Got to collect them all. We're going to have to go back to port. We're going to change our bait. The swordfish. Because I know where there are swordfish. And then we're going to have to live with swordfish. Why did you not collect that line? But yeah, so I'm having major trouble with swordfish, man. Ah, uh, tune on. I dig it with Baron C. Oh, do I, do you know what? Are you in fishing season? I am in fishing season for them. But there's none here. I think, like, the report was, like, yeah, 22 days ago. So, they clearly moved. Like, there are some tuna. You can see on my, my sonar there are some tuna in this location. Just not enough to warrant my lines. So, yeah, I, I just fucked up. Big time fuck up. Me hoping to come out here and make my fortune has turned into me coming out here and making a fool of myself. But yeah, we're in August. The chips can be a gamble. I, it's just a bit of a pain. Like, it would be nice if they gave you more information about the location of them. So, if I go in wiki, fish types. Okay. Um, southwest of Nova Scotia. St. Margaret's Bay. Okay, so they're saying... Hang on, what were they saying? Fish types. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Southwest of Mar St. Margaret's Bay. You look at a sonar end of a wiki, it gives you a rough idea where to drop lines. If you look under sonar... Habitat swim around predefined pattern, some from north to west, some from 
Right, okay. So there is a pattern to them, but finding that pattern is going to be rock hard. Maybe they go west, because I've gone east here. So maybe they go west? I don't know. Because it says they go in predefined. So like, obviously I've gone here, but maybe they've gone like, oh, that, that can't be it. There's loads of boats out here, though. So we'll pick up these lines and we'll go check out those boats. Because maybe I just haven't gone far enough east. What do you guys think? We've got half a tank of fuel. We might make it. We're almost done now, only five more lines to go. I'm going to head over to where those boats are. Hmm. I'm going to be sneaky. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're gonna, I think we're going to risk it for a biscuit. Because I would love to get some tuna. Yeah, drop a line when the fish pass. Right, okay. Uh, no, I don't think there is a pool nearby here. I'm like right out in the ocean. What I'm going to do, I'm going to set one of my workers, uh, I'm going to rest you. Oh no, I'm not. Fuck it, they can work. Yeah, drop the line when the fish pass. Ah, oh, right, okay. Right, okay. I see ya. I'm with ya. Can I show the whole map? Yes. Uh... I can't zoom out enough to show the whole map, mate. That's all I can show you at the minute. But yeah, that's the map. Pretty big, isn't it? Huge, huge map. Right, got this last one. My last mistake. The mistakes are corrupted. Okay. Hang on, let's... Uh... rest my workers now i'm gonna go over here i want to go and see what this boat here is doing oh, i'm gonna go there
Wow, look at that! That is beautiful. It seems smaller than Baron C. Where's the boats now? And in that way. Thing, but that's a good place for cob. Let's uh, play some fish. Good place for cob. No, they're not cod, they're pollock. Uh, start placing fish. Delete fish. Uh, select fish type. Pollock. Stop selecting fish type. Loads of Pollock are. That is a huge amount of Pollock. Okay. Right, I need to go fishing. So, I'm going to go down to there. The boat wandered off. Yeah, they're always moving. Always moving. We're going to change our boat. We're going to change our boat to swordfish. And we're going to go sword fishing. Because my mistake there is an absolute tool of a mistake. Uh, bang. Fish market. Fishing gear. Uh, bait deep lines. I'll remove heron. Okay, now we want all of them, we're going to do them all. Now I'm going to set 20 lines for swordfish. Bang. And that's all we're going to do. Now let's check out the town, let's check out the bar again, let's see if they no new tips. Wow! Hey, Dr. Robotnik. This game seems interesting. Oh, mate, it's a it's a puzzle. <laughs> if you like puzzles, this is a really interesting game. Uh, so I need to go over to Seal Island. Right, hang on. I'm gonna get rid of that. Right. Uh. Select fish type. Select. Stop selecting type. I want to delete that. Oh, I can't delete it because Matey gave it to me. Right. Okay. So now that is that. We're going to head out. Before we head out, let's be smart. Dock. Maintenance, fuel up, any repairs, awesome. Now we're good to go. We're going to go to Seal Island. Because that is where we get our, uh, this is where all of the swordfish are. Now, no matter how many times I have come around here, I have always found swordfish. Here. What? Even they've moved. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's go to my point. I know there's some there. For God's sake. Uh, you forgot fuel. No, I didn't forget fuel. I did get fuel. Here we go. Right.
There you go. You can see. There we go. That's better. Now we are at 103 meters deep. A long line needs 100 meters. Oh man. <laughs> 103. Right there. So let's get my crew. Bang. Bang. Prepare gear. Close. But no, we got fuel. We, we're alright for fuel now. We'll be fun. I did forget rescue service though. I right, drop C line. And let's go. Let's start making some money now, gun. Oh, what am I doing? Have I done the wrong thing? I think I've done the wrong thing. There's some uh, tuna in there as well. That's interesting. Uh, the chat on YouTube and there's delay. That's why I wrote a few. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. We're going to keep going now until I'm going to do all 20 lines, I reckon. I'll probably do all my lines at this rate. Yeah, sorry, it's a, it's, there is a slight delay. Um, I have set the game to no delay, but unfortunately, sometimes you just can't win them all, can you? Look at all these beautiful, beautiful swordfish. I see lots and lots of money. The lay is like one or two minutes. Really? Oh, I'm really sorry about that. I didn't realize the delay was that bad. I thought the day was delay would be like a couple of seconds, not one or two minutes. That's not me. That's that's really disappointing. Oh no, we're at ninety-eight meters. Ninety-seven meters. We are now. We're now below. Oh, it's getting deeper again. Come on, get over that 100 meters. Nah. I think I'm going to leave it there now. Nah. 100 meters. Okay, goes fine. Got my worker to rest. Rest. Oh, you bugger.
Right, I want my worker to stop working. But I can't. How far have you got on Gold Rush? Oh, mate. That game has become so grindy, man. It's, it's insane. Don't get me wrong, I like a good grind. But Jesus Christ, that game has got so, so grindy. Right. Worker. Hey, no, you won't. Fuck it, man. You can keep satin lines on. Not ideal. But I can't put him to bed. And if I don't put him to bed, then it's pointless. It's. I've only got six more lines to do, so... Yeah, I haven't got... I brought the plot, and I grinded out about another 300 grams. So tomorrow, I need to do... a fuckload of grinding again. Like, it's going to... Yeah, i still got so much to do. Drilled all the claim. Right, so, what happened was, is I did... I got the drill after that stream, and I started drilling it. And then... Typically, what happened then was... Is that... Even though I brought the claim... They then decided... That... Even though I brought it, any gold that I earned before I brought it, they taxed me. I had to pay the rent on. So they ended up taking like 80 grand off me, which put me like 60 grand in debt. And there's, there's no way back from that, really. So then I was like, ah, oh, for fuck's sake. So I reloaded it. And this was after I had drilled the whole paddock. And I was like, I can't be fucked to drill that again. Not going to lie. I, I really just could not be bothered to drill again. So, in the end, I was like... So, in the end, I gave up. Holy shit. So in the end, I just gave up, and yeah, there's a lot of lobster there. I start placing fish, blackfish type. Uh, stop selecting fish type. Bang. Stop placing fish. Look at all those lobsters, there's a lot of lobster there. Alright, now, will you let me move my worker into bed now? No. So yeah, so I was like, I, after that, I just, just couldn't do any more. I gave up and I was like, I'm too tired. And I couldn't be bothered to drill again. So I just left to get that. And now in, I just started just digging. Like, what I found though is, especially on old Arnold, like, no matter where you... No matter where you... Uh, No matter where you dig, even if it's like a high thing, you still get the same amount of gold, which is really, really annoying. And in the end... In the end, I just... Sorry, guys, i got to reload because my worker isn't working. Oh, the game's crashed again. So in the end, I just ended up... Um, just 
just digging and yeah i got about 300 grams of gold and then i had to change them over because i was running out of money so i've got about 170 grams of gold ready to be smelted so i need at least another 450 grams of gold so i've got a lot of grinding to do so tuesday is pretty much just going to be a grinding night and i'm just going to literally grind gold and because of course now the only thing we're going to do is get that 1.2 million to be able to buy the next parcel and then once we moved up there we're going to start looking at getting all the, the money for the t4 items um but yeah it's it's just becoming a bit of a drag so now like every time i got an hour i like put go on an hour i do one rotation grind through and then i come out for an hour but then of course i'm happy to do some grinding on this as well um yeah it's it's proven to be a lot of grinding but hey it's simulation game isn't it like and then i've been watching mr Sealy p and I was watching him and I'm like, Jesus Christ, how are you progressing so quick? And then I realized that... Uh, there we go, we can rest him now. And then I realized that it's because he's... Um, he's bloody doing it on easy mode. So he's getting like hundreds of grounds. Perfect. Okay. Um There you go. All right, let's have a look around. Holy smokes. One, two, three, four, five, six lines got something. six out of 20 that is ridiculous and i was pulling them down like good points as well only six lines got fish oh some more game fish If you get some of the story pages, that brings down the prices a little bit. Like, I have been getting as many as I can. Hey, we got a different boat. Hey, Gatti, how's it going? Uh, but I'm in lobster mode. Well, you either waited too long or not long enough. Okay. Okay, so we got to wait another five hours. My boat's still in all, but I call it the Moti Beta. Nice. Better. I was getting worried then. Uh, look at that. Bang. All the lines have got fish on. 20 hours. I didn't wait long enough for all the others. I should have checked my lines.
Three fish. Oh, we could be on for a roll here. I think we might be living the dream here. Uh, still buggy. Sometimes I have to save and go, yeah, no. I'm the same, mate. I've, I think I've had to reload three times tonight already. And that's in the space of what? A couple of hours? Like start at eight. So coming up two and a half hours. Yeah, coming up two, hour, two and a half hours. And I... Uh, uh, what's autopiloting? So if you're doing like the missions, you can't use quick travel. So you can set the autopilot to do all of that business for you. And uh, they will do everything for you. They'll... Yeah, they'll... They'll drive it for you so you don't have to sit there and drive. But then when you're not driving, it's like, well, what's the point? If that makes sense. Like you're just going to be walking around the boat like a little lunatic. You may as well... You may as well have a bit of fun and do the actual driving. We should get a nice haul on this. The first thing, I hadn't waited long enough. You've got to wait at least 20 hours. There we go, we got another three on there. Yeah, baby, give me money. Uh, autopiloting is fun and weird at first. <laughs> like, I haven't actually played with it yet. But I, I was just going by an assumption that it's when you're doing missions. Because the boat will just drive itself. Yeah, I just assumed the boat would just drive itself and let you get on with it. Two hours just for 10k. Yeah. Like, they're good for building up your rat, but otherwise I don't see it. Shit. Yeah, nice. Another free fish. I never pay for my crew. You do all of it and pour and put the crew out and sell the fish. And then put the crew back on the boat. What? I never pay for my crew. All you do is import, put them in the crew house, then sell the fish. Oh, that is sneaky, Gary. That's cheeky. I might have to do it just once. I might do it on this one because I got a feeling I'm actually going to get a lot of fish. Yeah, jobs are mainly port missions and no fast travel, just life baiting. <laughs> nice. I like that. Sorry, guys. This might take me a little while. Oh, only two fish that time. Crab and lobster are good to play once, but not to make money. No, I think tuna is the best way to make money. Um... But finding tuna is really bloody hard. Like, I will give potting a go. Like, I think next stream we'll give potting a go. Like, I want to give netting a go as well, because I haven't tried that. You make 2,500... Is that on a full load? Like, I will try it once, just to say that I've tried it. Ooh, three on that one. But I kind of like... I want to try netting as well. So I think next week, next stream, we'll do, like, netting. Like, I might have to do this again on Tuesday. And where we're going to go out and we're either going to do netting or we're going to go out and do lobstering. But, um... Yeah, I need to... Because, like I was saying, Gold Rush, I need to do so much grinding. It's ridiculous. 
and I know you guys uh I don't want to spend too much grinding I would like to do the next gold rush series where we're moving on to the next plot um but we'll see another free fish on that that's good do you like Monty Python do you know what my personality I try to watch them and people keep saying for me to watch Monty Python but I don't know why but I haven't and I think it's really bad I need like I, I need to try it but I haven't got around to it yet like I should try it though right we're halfway through and we still got 35 kilograms worth of weight to get i don't think we've actually caught that many fish how many on that one one Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Really? Why can't you... So, what I'm trying to do here is take off one of my workers. There we go. Because now I can have some fun. I can do a bit of that. So I'm not just driving the line. I can actually get some fish. And we can do a bit of a this bit. Yeah, and now we're in the shallow water. So now we're only probably going to get one fish on each. Because remember, this is where we hit the shallow water. And I was like, oh, should I, shouldn't I? But, um... So we're probably only going to get one fish on each of these. I missed that too. Uh, we're going to laugh at her three short games. One to laugh at the whole three short games from Joe. Is that Monty Python? Is that? I'll have a look. I will have a look. Um, I promise. Like people, my, my old boss where I used to work, he used to quote Monty Python. Like, there was no tomorrow. He was ridiculous. And, um, like, we would have a laugh and a joke about it. But I was so bad because I've never actually watched it. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it was like, oh, uh, shit. Uh. So, yeah. But, no, I will have a look. All right, that's the next time over there. We're in shallow water now. This is where I was saying oh, I shouldn't really bother. But we've done it now. And I'm going to try out this whole uh, Gettys. I'm going to call it the Gettys hack. Yeah, we'll, we'll try the Gettys hack. And we'll, it's, it's sneaky. But it's quite funny that you can do that. But no, I will check out Monty Python. I will check that out. You brought the game yesterday. Hey, Cuba, how's it going? How are you finding it, mate? Really? Right, five more lines to go, guys. 
we should have a pretty impressive haul. Like, I would like to see us make at least 200k. I messed up on these lines because I've done them in shallow water. Like, and I did admit that I had done it at the beginning. So, half expected. So, if you go into a short line, basically, you're only ever going to get one fish. So, avoid it. Uh... Perfecto. How are you finding it, Cuba? I can't move the worker to collect the fish. So are you doing that? So if you hold down L, uh, let me let me just stop the boat. You hold down L3, go up to crew menu, and then you click on the worker. And then the green thing is where you're moving them to. And then once you've got him where you want to put him. Uh, so if I move him on to. Yeah, and that's how you move the worker. If you can't move them, save the game and reload it. Oh, I must. That. Yeah, so that's that's what you gotta do, mate. Lots of bugs, yeah. You have to load I've had to reload the game about like four times already tonight. Yeah, so if you can't move in, uh save the game, reload it, quit the menu and reload. And uh, you should be able to work them. I've had to do that a couple of times myself tonight, mate. Um, they, these are known bugs by Miss Games, and they are working on the fixes. It's just one of those things you've got. You just gotta go with it, man. Like, no, yeah, I messed up. Shallow water. How much have we got? We got about seven. Oh, we got just short of seven thousand kilograms of fish. Not ideal. It would have been nice to go in with a full load, but it should still net me about two hundred grand. But obviously, it's it's not ideal. Not ideal. But no, the, the devs are working on the bugs. You just got to be. Patient, man, it's same of any new game that comes out, and you've got to bear in mind this is only their ever second release game. So, no worries at all, Cuba. Just while we're finishing off this, folks, uh, I hope you are enjoying the live stream. If you are, please do not forget to smash that like button for me. Uh, it's a massive help, helps bring people to the channel, and yeah, it, it's just nice. It's a nice way to show some appreciation. Uh, oh, good. Okay, I can live with good. But yeah, do hit that like button, folks. And of course, if it's your first time here, if you want to stay tuned for all the other content that I create, um, at the minute we've got four, four different series is running on, uh, three of which are running on PS4. We have got Green Hell, we have got Gold Rush, and of course we've got this, which is Fishing North Atlantic. And then, of course, on we have got a Phasmophobia community night, which usually takes place every Sunday. But uh, because it's Independence Day for my American friends, we were unable to do it. So we are taking, but it will be back hopefully next Sunday. All right, we have got over 7,000. That's good. Right, so let's head over to the finances, fish prices. Swordfish 26, oh, wrong button. Uh, 26, 31, 25. 31 was the best. And that's a lock port, so that's where we're going to head. So let's zoom out. Uh, lock port is this one. No, it's not. Lock port is this one. We're going to head to there and we're going to sell these fish. 
But I'm going to try out the Getty Sheep. Now, I, I want to see how well this works, shall we? So, this is the Getty Sheep. This is no undoubtedly going to get patched out. Right, okay. So, Doc, No, Town, Oh, not Bank, Crew, On Board, Rest, Rest, Back, and we come out of here. So we do that, and then we load in. Yes. 244. And of course, because we all of our workers are in the crew boat. <laughs> oh, mate, this is brutal, big guy. Um, so because all of our crew are in the, the crew house, we don't actually pay them. Brutal. Brutal. Oh, we got one tuna in that then. We can now sell them. And we make all the money. Mate, that is brutal. I hate you. But that is awesome. Uh, fishing gear. Oh, hang on. Let's go to the town. Uh, tips. Uh, redfish. Uh, we can get it. I don't want redfish, so I was hoping to get thing. But. And I think. Uh, you no, know, we don't want to leave them. And then once we've done it, we're going to go back into crew crew house return return back <laughs> mate that is brutal absolutely brutal oh i need to bait up again fishing gear bait deep lines we're gonna bait them all up for that again we're gonna bait up 20 again uh we could bait up more Let's be up for a. Why not? Bang. Let's make sure we've only got squid. That that is a brutal cheat, mate. I'm baited. There we go. Maintenance fuel. Right. Now, last time I done that, I crashed. So I'm going to save the game quickly. We're going to go on the port. I want to do some painting. Uh, maintenance. Change the name. Change the name. Dark maintenance change the color. Oh, what color should we go? I'm I'm kind of like that. Now we got Really, why are you not saving? Gotta be called Orca, aren't we? Done. Rename. Hey, we've been in. Hey, Shin, how's it going? Uh, how are you finding the game compared to the first one? So, in comparison to the first one, now, naturally, this one is a lot harder. Um, I think that's the main thing. And it is a lot harder. Because it's like driving a house. <laughs> um, 
So this game is a lot harder compared to the Baron C. And the main reason being that it's a lot harder is because like naturally hang on let me go so naturally in the previous one all you had to do was to open up the map and you can select the fish and it will show you where they are that is not the case anymore now it all comes down to chips in the bar or finding fish yourself which makes it really tediously long but it's fun um which which is nice um new boats which are nice there's some really cool nice new boats in there do you think it's a lot harder or just more realistic i would say it's more realistic because of course like in the real world you're not just going to get a map showing you where exactly where the fish are you have to go out you've got to find them you've got to use your sonar so it is far far more realistic which is nice um but yeah so it's a lot lot more realistic now i'm just going to turn the music down on my ear it's just starting to do my head in a little bit i'm starting to get a headache uh yeah i'm doing all right mate i'm doing all right i was about to finish off stream but but now loads of people are here i i kind of want to I'm going to stick it out a bit longer. But yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, it's a lot different. It's a lot harder. It requires a lot more skill compared to what. I'm going to go there. And then I'm going to go there. I'm going to plant out these last things. Now I want to make sure that I'm angled to staying in deep sea. Let's see what we're looking at. Yeah, we're looking good, baby. Okay, so. Set my worker. Deep pull. Bang. Let's get him out there doing that. 105 that's good good to hear me yeah no i'm doing absolutely amazing uh we're gonna do one more haul on the whole i'm gonna set out one more line guys okay this is gonna be my last line of the night and then i'm gonna get some sleep ready for work tomorrow but we're gonna try and be what we done last time now this time i am going to stay in deep water the boat's slower than lenore Ooh, lenore well i don't know if it's slower to be honest with you it's pretty damn quick like naming boats is fun that is fun you gotta do it haven't you We've got some tuna out as well. But this should hopefully keep us in deep water. Yes, it will. So we won't make that same mistake that we did last time. <laughs> yes! Lives in a pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob Square Pants. Sorry, had to do it. Oh, yeah, you got to have Krabby Patty. That is awesome. I love that. Like, and if you got a squid boat, would you call it Squidworth? Just to just to keep in with it. You had any weird glitches yet? Oh, mate, I've had loads of issues. I can't say I've had like lots of. I can't say that I've had lots of um. Lots of fun glitches. It's all been, yeah. I can't say that I've had lots of them. It's just been a massive pain in the ass at points so far. Sorry, I, I know they're gonna fix them, but like this, I have to tell him to keep to prepare the gear. I should be able to clip it once, and then naturally he'll keep doing it, which would be nice, but. 
it doesn't seem to be the case he is like no uh, you have to press the button every time just so you're telling me to prepare the gear and it's like well just prepare the fucking gear mate it's like you, you're working with a, a goldfish or something and you tell him and then three seconds i'll prepare the gear mate i'll prepare the gear mate prepare the gear mate and it's it's kind of frustrating and a bit annoying and i wish it didn't happen i wish it would just be click once and there we go i'll prepare the gear for you now mate you've you've asked me to do it once like you don't need to tell me every single bloody time it's like oh for god's sake just prepare the bloody gear sorry but but other than that it's it's all natural isn't it it's Right, so anyway, yeah, uh, not moving or my boat destroyed for no reason. So I say like no tomorrow because of that. Oh man, I can imagine. Like I haven't had anything game breaking like that. Uh, all my issues have been simple issues. Workers not wanting to rest and they want to keep working when I really need them to rest. Um, but otherwise, it's it's been all right. But it's just one of those things like these little petty things will get sorted out we just got to be patient and wait and and hope that hope that it gets fixed soon sometimes it does and sometimes i know it's proper weird isn't it it's like proper proper weird But I've got to go and find tuna. Like, there have been a few tuna floating around, but... Spear fishing is rough. I know. Do you know what? I love the spear fishing. The harpooning is my favourite part of this game. Is my favourite part of this game. I love the harpooning. Mwah. I, I think the, the harpooning really makes this game pucker for me. And I'd love it if you could do it with, like, sharks and... I go out and harpoon shark. I know shark are endangered species and you're not allowed to to fish them. But for the sake of a game, like I, I they should just say, like this game, this is a simulation based on a game, but in real life, cert Oh, I thought I broke it then. But in certain aspects of this game, I've are built for the purpose of a game because it would be cool if you could like fight jaws like or if there was like an easter egg where there was jaws hidden in the game and you you can only go out with a harpoon and you got a harpoon and and, and stuff i think it would be a proper quality little easter egg if that happened like don't get me wrong the likelihood of them adding a, something cool like that are probably very slim but come on it would be awesome it would be awesome a proper quality easter egg of a game like yeah do you know what i'm gonna put it in actually you get discord that they need to have an uh an easter egg event where you can harpoon jaws and it is like jumping out of water, tries to sink your boat. And if you don't get him quick enough, he will sink your boat and stuff. That would be just like proper quality. Like proper quality. Couple more. But I don't know. Like, I think this, game, this is what I like about games like this. There's just so much potential for them to expand on it. Like, and I've always said as well, if you took a game like this, that's as realistic as, it, like, as this game, but turned it into a shipwreck hunting game, where you got to go deep sea diving, and then all the boats are upgrading, and depending on the different type of sea boat rescue, like salvage boats, and you could do things like that. Oh. To me, 
that would be like awesome and then you could turn it into multiplayer where of course like there's loads of the, the massive open world and there are hundreds of like shipwrecks moved around like on every season they're put into a new location like and you've got to go around and you've got to find the treasure certain boats have certain different types of treasure and they can add some historical relevance to them so like you've got to salvage the titanic and you can call on other teams to come and help you with a salvage and stuff like that i, th I think like these sort of open world sort of water games there's an endless list of potentialities to it like that would really make this proper quality like high quality games but of course Of course, I, yeah, that would be sick, mate. Have like loads of secrets, like a giant squid and a mega dot. I know, right? No, no, no you're, you're absolutely right. It would be awesome. And there we go, that's done. You can go back to resting. And now we're gonna. Wow, look at that! Uh, start placing. But yeah, it would be like awesome, wouldn't it? I'd rather them fix the issues, then we oh no, that's it, isn't it? Don't get me wrong. But just like the potential of this game. Uh, two hours, so I need to sleep three hours. I need to sleep for 17 hours. But like, it would just be awesome. Like, it would just be so much fun. And just to add to it. Uh, 17 hours. Nineteen hours twenty-seven minutes. Awesome. Right, like I said, folks, this is going to be my last haul. Oh, fuck up. No, buy that start. Okay, right, let's go. Oh, what am I doing? All right, let's get these last couple of boats. Don't forget the rest of your work, Thank you. There we go. Right, let's go see how many fish we got this should be a big haul we have set out 30 lines they've all going to be out for at least 20 hours they're all in the right depth of water i'm going to do the work though i, I can't want to get involved i only really need one worker for this but Ooh, free fish. This is going to be a big one. This is going to take me a little while, folks. Stop your wiggling. Just accept the fact that I'm going to stab you with my pike. Relax. Okay. Next. Oh, hang on, let's change to storage mode. So I can see exactly how many fish I caught. Or how much weight I got left. Do that so I can doddle on to it. Hey, perfect, that's better.
Not a perfect. Awesome. We can get out as many perfects as we can. That would be great. Because then uh, it just means that I'm going to make get bigger fish, bigger fish, more money. But Getty, I love your cheat. Your cheat is awesome, mate. The Getty cheat. That's what we're calling it for now on. Right, let's go through. Oh, I need a quick sip of juice here. My 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 throat is starting to go a bit dry. Another three, nice. Should be a good haul there, mate. Oh, mate, yeah, no, hopefully. That'd be nice. If I can finish this off with a massive haul and a good bit of money, then I'll be living the dream, like. If I can fill the boat up, that's it. I'm, I'm rich, then. I'm rich. I can fill this boat. I am rich. We'll see. Still got 38,000. I think the next thing on the roadmap will be a DLC. It's just a question of what DLC will they bring? Like, are they going to introduce more boats? Like, it's kind of like, what can they do? Like, sure, they could add in some new fish. But what type of fish could they add in? Like, I don't know. It's, it seems like... They could do it a lot. Stop your wiggling, accept your fate. I am going to stab you with my pike. Bollocks. Right then, let's keep on going. This is going to be a huge... Oh, look at that! Red Sky at night. I think we're going to be over a fill. I think I'm going to be losing some fish. Yeah. Oh, only two on this one. Ah, oh, bollocks, I'm glad I missed. Right, let's keep this grind up. Keep the grind. It's better. Yeah, I'm intrigued actually. What else could they do to the game? What could they add? I love the option to be able to send boats out with crew to make money for you. That would be nice. So it becomes, yeah, but then it becomes less of a simulation and more of a management game. If that makes sense. Um, yeah. Like, and um, that's, yeah. Well, I agree, that'd be pretty cool. Like, at the same time, it's like, well... Like, at the same time, it's like, well, there's, there's no real point. After this, after this, I'll be going to the game myself a little. Ooh. You're going to go for it, Martin. Like, if you're looking for swordfish, mate, this is the place for them. Like, off stream, I'm going to be looking for the tuna spot. Um, on the wiki, it does tell you a location. But um, I need to figure it out. Ah, crap. That's my worst one yet. I don't want okay. I want good or... I can live with good. Excellent. Perfect would be good. But obviously... There we go. Perfect. True, but they could limit 
it in one or two crews only to make them more income. Yeah, they could do. Like, but yeah, I'm I'm not entirely sure what I think of the idea of sending crews out. Like, I think if they wanted to do something like that, obviously, naturally, I'm going to say that multiplayer would be awesome. And then you could have two crews then. Or do you, what I would really like, do you know like Gold Rush where they have seasonal competitions? That would be awesome. There's a new DLC in Testing. What, do you, do you know anything about that? I would kind of be intrigued of what, what this DLC is. Because... Yeah, once that is out there, hopefully I'm moving on to multiplayer. Okay. Like, I need to check out their roadmap. I've only been in their Discord for, like, a couple of days. And, yeah, I need to... Yeah, I should really be checking out, looking at a roadmap of some kind. But thanks for that. that that's kind of nice to see that they are thinking about these things yeah I didn't sign any NDA in <laughs> are you in the, the testing team here fair play I'm getting on the testing team mate But I'm guessing it's going to be PC first. It's natural. So we'll see what PC get. And then obviously it will get ported to PS4 a bit later on down the line. But they need, like you, like you guys said, they need to fix the bugs in PS4 before they move on to any DLCs. Because like, naturally it just seems like, uh, oh, it's scallops. Scallop fishing, eh? Different. Crikey, we're, we're like... <laughs> we are now one third of the way through. Is that a fin up ahead? No, it's the boy. I thought that was a fin right next to the boy then. I was going to say, what? We found a harpoon spot. The most elusive harpoon spots in the world. Yes, I am. They were kind enough to leave it live so we were continuously testing. Uh, I think they said it should be on console by the end of the year. Nice. That is nice of him to leave it in for you. And that's nice to know that they are thinking about it coming to console. And like obviously naturally they got a lot of work to do to the game on console before they even consider DLCs. But yeah, just be careful. I know you haven't signed an NDA, but they might. I think they do have expect it. And of course, it is a bit nice to. It is nice. But thank you for the info. Please don't get me wrong. I, I really appreciate you giving us some info, but I don't want you to get in trouble or upset anybody. And I, I can't deny Miss Miss Games were amazing and gave me a key, so. So I can't, I can't deny that I'm, I'm really happy with them. And I want to look out for them. But I'm still always going to give my honest opinion. One thing, I'll always be honest. If we ain't honest, what are we, eh? Holy smokes, we've got nearly seven grand, seven thousand kilograms. This should be like... 
Wow, this is going to be up close to a six hundred, six seven hundred thousand pound haul if it continues like this. Only one fish on this. Ah, oh, got it. Only one fish on this one. That's my first one fisher. I think I've had all threes up to now. Right. Coming up to halfway through. Ah, oh, bollocks. Rushed it. Rushed it. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do as well, I suppose. Bag and good. Could do better. I should be getting perfects every time, but... I'm rushing. Uh, where are we at? Uh, 7,651 kilograms so far. Not too shabby. I prefer this game over the first, even though the first is great. But this game is... What the first one needed the most. Yeah. I, 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 I kind of... Yeah, I agree with you, guy. Like, what I think I like most about it is that it's difficult. Like, don't... Don't get me wrong, balance C is, can be quite hard. But what makes this game difficult is that you don't know the locations of the fish. You've literally got to find the fish. And that is... I think a major thing and something that really is a great pull for this game because of course like a lot of games they're like they're pretty straightforward but this you physically gotta figure it out you've got to use the wiki you've got to use the tips and you've got to be smart you can't just go out like I have as like, and just go nuts. You've got to look. You've got to, oh. Get cheap. Uh, fast travel clock was one thing I first didn't have. Yeah. Like, I remember in the first one, I used to just set waypoints for, like, that are worth, like, 18 hours. <laughs> so I'd be li literally whizzing around the sea for 18 hours, opening up new regions while I'm, walk while I'm, uh, while I'm going around. Do you know what? I'm going to... Uh, hang on. I should be going with my sonus to light. See if I can find a tuna spot. Shit. Yeah, I need to go out with a... Keep my sonar on. Because of why I'm driving this. I could be looking for a new... I could be looking for a new um, tuna spot. Because, like, I've gone west, east. So there could be more tuna spots like this way. And obviously, that's what I'm looking for. Like, there's one tuna on there now. We've got some cod out here. Loads. Quite a few lobster, I think. Wow. Slack fish type. Lobster. Quite a lot of lobster. I gotta say, it's my first time playing anything like this, and I'm really enjoying it. 
It's surprising, isn't it? It's surprisingly addictive. Like, it's, it's really a surprisingly addictive game. Um, like, some people will be like, ah, oh, it's, it's a bit slow, a bit boring, but, like, it's a lot fast. In my opinion, it's a lot faster than Gold Rush. Like, I think Gold Rush is pretty slow and very grindy, which is all right. Like, don't get me wrong, it's all right, but it would be nice if it was a bit quicker, but... You can't have it all, can you? Like, you win some, you lose some. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, check out Deadliest Cats when it's cheap. That's another fair deep sea fishing game. Like, I watched a bit of Juice MS play it, actually. Uh, those of you who don't know, Juice MS is uh, one of, a friend of mine who does a lot of streaming as well. He's mainly P he is all, all PC, though. And he done a lot of Deadliest Cats, and it did look pretty epic. Um, but it's a PC game, and I, I kind of like... I know I played a lot of PC games and I went through a stage, but it appears like a lot of people would rather me play PS4 games. Uh, a lot of my following is PS4 based, so I kind of started drifting back towards PS4. So, so if it comes out on PS4, then I'll definitely be getting it. Oh fuck, I didn't having most fun i love so i wish we could skip seasons not weekly when oh what am i doing i'm not going backwards i'm meant to be going backwards not concentrating uh crabbing is fun like just if it if it is it still the same as baron c so you gotta this once you've got them you gotta distinguish between a male and a female and stuff like that because that's pretty cool Really? What the bloody hell? Oh my god. Fuck no, I don't know what happened then. The game was glitching for me, man. I wonder if because I got an extra worker on now, it's going to glitch and, and give me double impact. That'd be pretty cool. Right, I'm going to leave my workers to it now. I just crack on. We're almost done. We've got. Nine, ten lines left to do. I'm at eleven thousand out of the forty thousand. Wow, that's actually not that much. I thought we would have been like pretty loaded, but clearly not. Uh, you can skip months by using the clock thirty days at a time, if I recall. There we go. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Mm. 
Nah, one week. Be safe. <laughs> yeah, I think I should really, shouldn't I? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, was I making you nervous, Martin? <laughs> Apologies. How many have you got? Two. I'm going to let these guys do the last little bit, just so I can concentrate a bit more on the chat. Um, but basically, ladies and gents, what we'll do, we'll, we'll do this haul. And once we've done this haul, we're going to head back to the bay. And we're going to set it off, and then I'm going to be calling it a night there. And going to get some bed ready for work in the morning. Um, I'll probably be back on this on Tuesday. Um, unless I manage to get a massive amount done in Gold Rush tomorrow. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I would like to say that I'll pay Gold Rush on Tuesday, but the amount of grinding I need to do is... is kind of a bit insane. Like, I need to do a lot of grinding. It's insane how much grinding I need to do. Like, this game is a bit quicker because you earn money quite quick. The cold rush is just so slow. Yes, I was crossing my fingers that the game wouldn't crash. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. And there we go, we're up 13,000. I'm not seeing, there's still loads of lobster out here. I swear these weekends are getting shorter, I know, right? Like something, I think it's because we're getting older. As you get older, things get shorter, including your height. Is there anything? Nothing really. Yeah, that's 250 meters away, and there's still loads of fish. Loads of mad lobsters. Oh, there we go. That's about it. That's insane. The amount of lobster. Look at that. I might have to try lobster out. If we play this on Tuesday, I'm going to go, go lobster in. Because that is something entirely new. That's the one thing we really haven't... Like, we've done crabbing in Band C. So I'm assuming there's not going to be much change there. But lobster in is going to be interesting. Interesting. Uh, we are 14,000. We're double, so that's going to be 400 grand so far. Yeah, about 400 grand so far, which isn't too shabby. A nice little haul, right? Huh? Show me the way to go. I'm, I'm tired and I want to go to bed. And a little drink, a couple of hours ago, and it's gone right to my head. There's the way we may run. Sorry. Like I got. Have a look at my real Look at that. You can't... God, do you know what? Like, in real life, if you were a fisherman, 
being in a situation like this where you can't see land anywhere must be the scariest thing in the world you are literally in the middle of the sea praying that the boat doesn't break and everything stays good and it must be so intimidating and so bloody scary happy revolutionary day <laughs> i thought i thought independence day was based on the day that will smith saved the world from them from uh Yeah, I thought Independence Day was the day that Will Smith saved the world from uh, an alien invasion. But yes, no, happy, happy Independence Day, everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful Independence Day. Those of you that are with us and I'm staying home with my joints and video games. Nice. Nice. I can't say that the joint bit is nice. That's not really my cup of tea, but if it is, it used to be a long time ago. Not, not anymore. The second I had my first kid, I stopped, and that is it. I am touched a cent. Like I can't. I don't think I could even handle it. Man, it's like when you, when you're young. You you could you can drink like a fish, like excuse your pun pun, but you can drink like a fish. But now, like I I drink three or four pints and I, I start to feel it a little bit and I get a bit queasy. The ungrateful colony stuff. <laughs> oh, she is brutal. Two more to go. Almost done, folks. Almost done. And then we are free. We are free. And I can go to bed. It's like quarter to twelve. This is gonna be like a four hour stream. Like that's a big stream. Like most of my streams are three hours, so lasting four hours, I'm quite impressed with myself. Like my voice is seriously gonna pay for it in the morning, but But nonetheless. Now right, where are we are. Yeah, this should be a good 500 grand, a 500,000 pound haul. Which is not too shabby. So not broken. Uh, it just takes a little time to, there we go. I uh, know, I just set it at a thousand meters so I can see if I can see any tuna. Because tuna is what I want. If I can get to find tuna, I am happy. Whichever way we may run. Uh, do you also stream on Twitch? Um, I do have a, um, a Twitch account. I don't do a lot on Twitch, to be honest with you. Because... Um, like, I was going to do, like, a bit on Twitch, but I kind of, I don't know. I, a lot, most of my following is on YouTube, so, and a lot of people, the older generation, don't really do Twitch, don't like Twitch. Um, I have streamed on Twitch now and again. I've multi-streamed a few times, but um, I want to go have a look here quickly. I'm going to go have a quick look. Uh, I already have low population problem for swordfish because I was fishing with computers. <laughs> this is going to push me back over the 1 million mark, I think. Looks like cod.
I just want to see if I can find... Nah, there's, there's no tuna here. No tuna out here. One point three nautical miles deep. Alright, let's see what they show. Not much. No tuna. Okay. Right. Let's uh go back into our finances. Uh swordfish there at 2630, 25, 28, 30 it is. Lockport. My game crash. Do you have enough fuel? We'll find that in a second. Fingers crossed. Please be enough. Please be enough fuel. Yes, we're in. Right. So we're going to do the Gatti bug again. No, don't sell your fish. Go in here. Go in your crew. Who has boat on board? Basically, rest, rest. Okay. Now, once you've rested your crew, come out. And then load back in. Sell your fish. <laughs> and there we go. You then do not have to pay your workers. That is... Awesome. Okay, so uh this that's gonna net us yeah, nearly six hundred grand. Nice. That's gonna push us over a million. Bang. One million quid. We're gonna fuel up. Mackerel. Don't really need mackerel, but we'll get it anyway. Yes, we're going to go out. We're going to save it. And there we go. 1.2 million. Now, that is awesome. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to call it a night there. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming to join me. If you have enjoyed it, please do not forget to hit that like button for me. Yeah, uh, it's a massive help for me. It really helps get my content out there and helps people know. Yeah, brings more people to the, the, the game, which would be awesome, amazing, absolutely fantastic. Now, I will be back on Tuesday. Um, it's hit or miss. I will either be playing a bit more of this or I will be playing... Gold Rush, it depends how much work I can get done on Gold Rush for Tuesday. If I don't get there, then I'll be doing this again, and then Gold Rush will be the Tuesday after. It all comes down to how much work I can get done on Gold Rush tomorrow. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed yourself. I will upgrade and rescue. I will do all of that now. I've got plenty of money. I may as well. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed yourself. Thank you so much come to join me tonight it's been a wonderful wonderful night you are all absolutely amazing thank you very much guys if it wasn't for you i wouldn't be doing this so thank you so much yes see you all later i will be back on tuesday 
But until Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your Independence Day if you are in America. And if you're in the UK, enjoy your Sunday night. And I will see you on Tuesday. But until then, have a wonderful, wonderful day or night or morning, whatever time it is in the world. Bye for now. You don't need to cut your fish. You still get the same amount. Oh, that's cool. Ah, cheers, Gary. I remember that. And I will make sure I get that rescue done as well. Um, but good night, guys.